Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video today I'm going to do a quick and easy makeup look and I'm only going to be using a few products and for this makeup look I have two star products that I want to use and one is by Shantakai I recently got this mono eyeshadow from Shantakai because it was featured in the Shantakai magazine and it was featured as Sylvie's fall favorite this is like obviously one of her favorite fall eyeshadows and I thought I don't have this shade and I thought it's going to look so beautiful as one eyeshadow and I wanted to use this with a bold red lip so basically that's why I decided to pick this eyeshadow and today I'm going to be using it for the very first time so these are very tiny very beautiful and packaging is absolutely gorgeous and since it's very tiny, you have to be careful when you're opening this because the first time when I opened this, by accident I dipped my finger, like my whole finger, into the eyeshadow and I really don't like when I ruin the patterns, like immediately. I'm not very careful with my makeup, but I usually don't like when the patterns... So you have to be careful when you're opening it. Make sure that you don't have a lot of moisturizer on your hands. Otherwise, it's very tiny and you might end up dipping your finger right into the eyeshadow and ruining a little bit the pattern. So I did this already a few times, dipped my finger right into the eyeshadow, but I just wanted to show you how gorgeous this shade is and... And this color is described as sophisticated olive. So I'm gonna be using this one today for the first time with you. And also I wanted to use a bold red lip and I have this beautiful mini bowl lipstick case and it comes with a lipstick refill in Magical, which is a classic red color. So I'm gonna be using these two today. These are going to be the star products of my makeup look and I really enjoy this bowl lipstick case. I have a full review of this collection in case you're interested and I'm going to talk to you a little bit later. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to start with a light base. Okay, so I just took my hair back um, so that I feel more comfortable when I'm doing my makeup because I don't want to have hair or all around and excuse my like flying hair but but I just washed it and it's quite unruly, so let's ignore that. So I'm just gonna brush my brows and I'm going to start off with a light base and I have my favorite Shantakai brush. This is a game changer. I've been mentioning this brush in some of my recent videos. Really love this brush. This is the Shantakai Buff and Blur brush and I find that it really makes a difference for me because it's, um, it's a great brush. If you have sensitive skin, I use it for everything. I use it for foundation, for powders, I use it for everything. So I'm starting with the Le Beige foundation by Chanel. I'm just going to have a very light layer of foundation all over my face. Just quickly going to apply this and on my lips right now I have the Royal Lip Balm from House of Siachen because I'm planning to have a red lip and I just wanted to have this beautiful red balm on my lips. You know guys that the Rose Balm was my favorite, now I really like the Royal because right now in the winter it looks like my skin is getting paler and paler and when I apply this kind of a pale, kind of a reddish lip balm it somehow makes my complexion look more alive. Okay, so a light layer of foundation and now I'm going to be using my favorite Chantakai Gel Bronzer just to warm up my complexion a little bit. And I love this product. It's a very light, beautiful bronzer and I'm just going to use a little bit on my nose. I mentioned in my recent Get Ready With Me video that sometimes I would just apply a little bit of this bronzer on my nose just to create the illusion of being in the sun. And also I'm going to apply a little bit right here. And I'm going to use my fingers to tap this product. It's very easy to use and it literally doesn't need a lot of blending. But it just warms up my skin. And creates the illusion that I look... I look much healthier when I use this. So very unpleasant breakout that I have to address and I'm gonna be using the Westman Atelier foundation because it's really good at covering breakouts. And I'm going to be using a darker shade than my own skin tone. This is going to be more of a peachy shade because usually when people have breakouts, they are usually going to use concealer, which is lighter. But that's only going to emphasize the breakout because usually when you use a shade that is 
lighter than your skin tone. Lighter shades usually tend to bring objects forward, so the breakout is going to look even bigger, brighter. So I'm going to be using this kind of a peachy shade. Okay, I'm probably going to deal with it a little bit later, but for now... So I usually don't have breakouts, but when I have a breakout, it's really going to be like enormous and glamorous and glorious. So I'm going to use a little bit of concealer now. This is a Chanel concealer, my favorite, and also I'm going to apply a few dots on my eyelids. And I'm going to blend everything with my fingers and then I'm going to use also a beauty blender. So I'm just doing this very quickly and that's why I'm using the two fingers, but it can be more careful if you're at home and take your time while blending the concealer. I'm just doing this as a quick makeup look. Okay, now I'm going to set everything with powder and my current favorite is the Gucci powder. It feels very luxurious and it looks so beautiful on the skin, but the packaging is just to die for. I've never had such beautiful compact powder and I'm using it in number one, natural, and with a flat brush I'm just going to brush this powder on my T-zone and the places where I tend to get oily. I'm not going to be using too much because I prefer to keep this look glowy. So next I'm going to lightly fill in my brows with my favorite Dior brow pencil. This is basically the only brow pencil that I use to fill in my brows. And now moving on to eyes, I'm going to apply blush in the end of the video because I always, when I'm wearing a red lip, I feel like it's more, it makes more sense for me if I apply the blush in the end because you really know how much blush you need. So let's move on to this beautiful eyeshadow. It almost, it's almost too beautiful to be used, but I'm going to use it. I'm using my favorite Chanel brush and I'm going to apply this color all over my mobile eyelid. It's a beautiful shade. It's a great olive, really kind of a grayish. And you know guys, I was actually looking at this in the morning um, when I was having my coffee. I was looking at this mono eyeshadow in the sunshine and it has that beautiful reflective particles like inside in the eyeshadow. It has, there are a lot of tiny reflective particles. I found even some little blue reflective particles. It's a very interesting shade. It's actually a very, very beautiful color and I'm so happy that they featured this in the magazine. Um, and I, I actually found this also on Instagram, I think, the first time when I saw this eyeshadow featured as one of Sylvie's fall favorites. I think it was on Instagram on Shantakai's Instagram account. So I thought this was going to be a very interesting shade. Now let me go ahead and do also the other eye. They are very soft and you can see that they apply very easy. And you guys, I don't know how this is going to look on camera because sometimes camera just doesn't do justice when I'm doing makeup looks and I don't have like fancy editing programs which have color correcting and make things look more beautiful than they actually are. But I have to tell you that in real life, I am absolutely in love with this eyeshadow. Maybe right now there is going to be, there are going to be some discounts on Shantikai's website for Black Friday. Definitely get this eyeshadow. I don't think that you're going to regret this. It's, it's gorgeous. Like I always thought that this color is going to be a little bit um, boring. That's why I never thought of picking this color, but when I saw this in Sylvie's favorites, I thought, you know what? This is gonna look absolutely gorgeous. This one eyeshadow on my eyelid with beautiful red lip. Now I'm going to be blending the color, just blending the edges a little bit. And I don't know if you're reading my blog, but I actually had the pleasure to have a interview with Sylvie Shantakai and I'm so excited, you guys. So, so if you haven't seen this interview, she answered so many questions, like it was incredible. And I was so happy to have this interview with her. She replied to so many questions, you guys, really patiently. Um, and I'm so happy. So I'm going to have a link to the interview. It's called Beauty Talks with 
Sylvie Shantakai. I'm going to have a link in the description box, so definitely check out this interview. She shared some amazing beauty tips and also she shared her favorite hair mask, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Head over to my blog and you're going to see. I am using this hair mask. All right, so I think that's going to be it. I'm going to apply also a little bit on my lower lash line and that's going to be it. So now I need to curl my eyelashes and I need a lot of mascara. Okay, so this is with the mascara on and now let's move on to the lipstick and I'm not even going to wipe the lip balm. So since House of Siash lip balms pair beautifully with lipsticks and intentionally I used a red lip balm, I'm just going to go ahead and apply Magical. And I'm actually going to show you the shade. I have a full review of this collection, the Disney and House of Siash collection. So in case you're interested, I'm going to have a link in the description box. I'm going to show you a swatch of the lipstick. The lip color is a classic red color. So I'm not even going to remove the lip balm. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the lipstick straight on top of the lip balm. And I have to tell you that I like it even better. I mean, on top of the lip balm, it looks like the color becomes even more vibrant. For thin lips like mine, that's always amazing. Okay, so that's it. I think we are almost done. And last but not least, I'm going to apply some blush now. And for blush, I'm going to be using my favorite Chantecaille Cheek Chic Duo. I don't know if this is still available. I'm using this in rose and this is my perfect blush. So I'm just going to apply this right here. I find that this is my perfect blush shade in terms of texture and in terms of color. Hair. I think this is my perfect blush shade. So uh, the highlighter, I use it mainly on my eyes when I want a quick makeup look, but the blush shade, I think they should make it part of the permanent line because it's just so beautiful. Like, take a look at this. And then moving on to highlights. So I'm gonna be using this pink highlighter here. This is from Guerlain's summer makeup collection, but it's still available I love, this is one of my favorite highlighters, like one of my favorite highlighters for all times. And I mainly use the pink one. I love using the pink one also in the inner corners of my eyes because it just adds some light. And also I'm going to be adding a little bit, just a touch on the bridge of my nose. But And I think that I'm only going to apply a little bit of the same pink highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes just to add some light. This highlighter is absolutely amazing. And also on my lower inner corner. This really brings a lot of light to the eyes. Okay guys, and this is the finished look. As you can see, I only used one eyeshadow and very few products and we are done. Let me know what you think in the comments below. One last final touch and this is the fragrance. The fragrance that I'm going to be using is by House of Siash and it's from the same Disney collection. In case you're interested, I'm going to have a link in the description box. Also, I have a video and a full review of this fragrance. I'm very excited about this fragrance. I feel like a look is never complete without a touch of fragrance of your favorite fragrance. My current favorite is the Mickey Mouse fragrance from House of Siash. It is it is warm but fresh at the same time. It is a little bit tropical. It has the sexy kind of a seductive vibe of Wonder Woman, but it has a touch of bergamot. So it has coconut, it has vanilla, amber. So I absolutely love this fragrance so much. It is a real work of art, you guys. You, If you're a fragrance lover, you definitely don't want to miss this fragrance. It is so beautiful. And once here, and the distribution on the atomizer is outstanding. I absolutely love this fragrance. I'm only spraying this twice because I'm staying home and I love to keep my House of Siash fragrances for special occasions. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye.